Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome to your Astro Flower reading going from the 12th to the 19th of December. Sorry about this, I've seen to have a <coughs> fog in my throat, I do apologise. So yeah, how's it going on for you? Let's just see what's going on in your overall energies here. Seems to be a certain frustration. You want to get on, you want to start moving. You want things to move on. You want to get in the flow of things. But the overall energy here is 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 a little bit frustrating for you. It's not as constant as you'd so desire. Um, this is where I think you're going to need to take time out on a regular basis in order to listen and uh, hear the messages coming through. Feel those messages coming through. Uh, smell those messages. Touch those messages. You know, it comes through in so many little subtle areas the energy that you've got to really uh sometimes really take time out just to sink in with uh with the environment go for a bit of a walk sink in with the environment and you're gonna it'd be easy for you to feel your way through the difficulties which could be the inconsistency of energy sometimes a little bit frustrating but it's very pointy here this energy it's got a lot coming through it uh, as well so there is a lot of messages for you Let's just see what the um, karmic message is for the you on the relationship front. There's a desire for commitment or uh, if you're in a relationship already, it's almost as if like you want to go to the next level. Uh, if you're uh, in a long term relationship, it's like, uh, let's see, you know, let's explore uh, avenues of life that we've never really explored as a couple before and that could be through activities uh, sort of like traveling socializing that sort of thing um, let's just see um, but it is there's a lot of passion in there there's a lot of fire well yeah there's you're feeling sure about uh, where you should be where you should be going and stuff like that if you're feeling that or you should be feeling that, which gives you that passion to go on. Um, and as you do go on, that's where you're going to need to have those down times to listen to what's going on around you so you can uh, adjust for the situations as they come through. Let's just see how the universe is influencing this karmic message. The surer you are, the more the universe can sort of uh, provide you with constant flow, constant energy. So um, there may be a case of things like uh, within your relationship. This is what I was talking about, sort of like maybe looking to take it up to the next step. It's as almost as if the universe has sort of said, you've done the planning here. You've, you've worked it out inside you. You want this relationship or you want this commitment or you want to find this person. And it's now sort of, they're sort of saying, take that confidence that is within you, go out there and do it. You know, uh, it, 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 same within, uh, this could be relationships and concerning your family, your friends, your community. Um, you know, if you're in a long, if you're in a long term couple, it's like, Having those that the you know the, the confidence now that you've built something and you're planning something with your your partner to go and do I think traveling seems to be really coming up on the radar if you're in a long long term couple um, and exploring seeing the children go and see the grandchildren whatever it's is a definite aspect of movement around it but it takes planning but you've just got to head go ahead and do it let's just see how the guys are trying to influence this karmic message. They're going to open all the all the sluice gates for you, so you can just make it up the river with ease. Uh, they're, they're, it's all in the timing as well, and this is where you've got to take time out as well in order to stay within synchronicity uh, with the with the world that is around you. But it is going to ask you to lead. So the the guys here are trying to, with that King of Wands, that real bit of passion going on there. You've like, got a lot of passion going on there. Because you've got that fire that comes up through you like that, um, Pisces, from Aries. And uh, it keeps your relationships or your emotions very warm. Uh, so I would, yeah, I would strike out there, go for it, you know, uh, head forward. Uh, 
Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this conversation that is within you. Enjoy and say and feel at ease to say what you want. You know, I don't like I don't like vanilla ice cream. And everyone's like, what? You don't like vanilla ice cream? How can you not like vanilla ice cream? It's that sort of like feeling at ease with people still saying, no, vanilla ice cream's a little rubbish, I hate it. <laughs> and without feeling any sort of like not being not being candid, you know. Uh yeah, having having the confidence of that Queen of Pentacles there, that karmic realization that you are on the level, you're in the place, you're in a very comfortable place, that you'll have all the resources of that interaction with other people that are around you. And that conversation that sort of like builds you up and encourages you to go into that pressure, that the position, letting go of the old you and allowing the new you to just breathe will be really nice uh, within your relationships. And that means taking it to the next level. There's no marriages, there's no cards of marriage here, but there is, um, uh, I think it's taking it to the next level. I think it, you're going to get that security or that sensation of, sureness within your relationships to take it to the next level and that's probably going to come out by the end of this week let's just see what's going on with your karmic message on your financial sort of side there is um there is a constant flow on this side, which is not on the overall energies. And this is where it could be a bit biting. I think it's more biting on the um, the relationship side. That's what you're waiting for. But there's more constant flow on here. And it's like, it's, it's, your karmic message here is very similar to this. It's about confidence. It's realizing that you've, you're in control. You're at the helm of your, of your, of your path. You know, no, ah, feeling stuck. Hmm. Yeah, could it be? Well, I guess if you're at the helm, you can't really go anywhere else. And I think this is like, this is a learning curve for you, Pisces, because you love change, you love innovation and stuff like that. And sometimes innovation, once it's put into practice, has to settle in, has to bed in. You can't keep changing the plant position all the time and expect that plant to grow healthfully. You've got to give time for things to bed in. And I think this is what a bit of a learning curve for you here. And this is probably why it's a bit choppy up here uh, in this constant energy here. It's it's making you slow down a bit and taking out and taking time out. How's the universe sort of like guiding this? They're giving you direction and force. Um, so this is all concerning your job. So if you're in a job, you're going to be in a very comfortable position and just enjoy that moment. Uh, Realise that you, you, you're giving it a direction. You're going to have to see it through. You've got to see it all the way through. Um, and, you know, so concentrating on the here and now is really important. The universe here is is trying to give you direction for that force or that confidence that you can have of, being at the helm of your ship, not going anywhere, being that constant uh, side of things. Um, yeah, allowing your emotions to be, being the, the, you know, having control over your emotions in the business world will set you apart, will make you look uh, like your managerial position or that you're confident within your job or your your project or your uh, the, the thing that, you, that you're you doing you, you, uh, in your life. Um, it's going it, to... It's going to install that sort of confidence of others within you because you've got control over your emotions and you're you're very effective and you've got to see it through. That's the thing. Don't get distracted in a way this week. Um, I think these two cards here are explaining that. So don't get distracted. How's your guides do this? They are closing things off for you. So they're helping with the with the universe, trying to guide you down a path that you probably need to, you know, as I say on this side, the guy's going to open up the sluice gates. It's a little bit like that, where in a way that they're providing that sort of pathway for you to go forward. But that is the path you've got to take with other people. And, you know, enjoying it and, and 
I think the enjoyment can come out of the idea that the universe and everybody, your guides as well, it's like it's like one happy family that want the best for you. They really do. Hang on a second. Mm -hmm. I just lost one. You know, you got the three of cups and it's following by the four of cups. Just throw that away. Give yourself over to the evident path. I think this is what it is. It's almost having having control over the your path, but not having control over your path. It is such a paradoxical sort of a concept. It's it's like letting go to have control of the force. It's like I don't know if you've seen you know Star Wars when Luke Skywalker puts on that sort of helmet. You can't see the. A, a, a ball uh, that's glowing that's shooting things at him so he's got to defend with it with his uh, his lightsaber you know and he's got to so he's got to trust it so he's got to let go of his feelings and stuff like that and I think that's with everything around it I think here the guys and that are just sort of saying we're all together in this together and you've got to recognise that and sometimes you've got to just play along uh, it's it's going to help you within your career path, within your business. It's going to make your life really start on a beautiful upward drive because you have been working hard and you put in the hours. You're due this karmic sort of um, payback, as it were. To see how the guys are trying to influence this conversation that is within you. They're almost non-existent. It's as if like the confidence has to come with you to take onus or you have to own the situation. They're almost sort of sort of saying, after you. You make your choices. After you. They've got confidence, they've got so much confidence in you that you've done the work that it's almost kind of sort of saying, go and get your just just desserts, as it were. It's going to make you feel like uh, it's going to it's going to make you feel like you've really um, that you own it, that you own your path, your career path, and your job, and your uh, business. You're really um, going to be in a good place for that. Um, there's no real negative side. It, I'm trying to see if there's because there's usually a flip side, like a yin yang aspect to the reading. And on the, on, on the flip side of here is if you're feeling stuck and you want things to move, if you're not getting yourself a job, it's because you're holding back on your emotions, you're not getting out there and getting involved in it all, um, and therefore you're not going to be getting any success because you haven't got the clarity of mind of where you're going. But just for to start with, just get out there and get involved, I think. That's the flip side of it. I think that's a very small amount of people. But in general, uh, it's a case of, yeah, owning that moment and staying in it because it's it's going to provide it's going to provide a very very good foundation to build on in the future. It's a progressional thing, and when it's constant progression, that is good. Okay, let's just see um, what the overall outcome is. It's like uh, going down a water slide that's like it's all in case. So it's, and then you come out the end with just a splash of water. It's like almost like a champagne cork that's being over. It's like, it's not that violent. It's actually, it's just like, yes, what a great, great bit of the journey that was. And it's a, an arrival sort of, of a realisation, but really nice and not necessarily ecstatically happy, but very... Um, it's a lot of adrenaline in a way, it's sort of like, you know, you're proud of what you've done, you're, you're really good about the sort of situation you're in. I mean, that four of cups comes back up. So it did want to come out then. So, you know, uh, yeah, it's, I, I think it's going to be, I think it, you might get to a point where you're going to look back over your journey and you're going to realise the opportunities that you missed because you didn't put your heart and soul into it. 
I think this is a good realisation, and this is part of that message coming through. It's not the case of your future, but it's more of a case of your past, and it's a realisation of that past. And once you realise that, the opportunities you missed is because you didn't put your heart and soul into it. It's going to stand you in such good stead going forward. It's going to make you realise when you're hurting yourself, not only on your career path, but also on your relationship side. It's realising of when you, we all do it, we're all sometimes a little bit stubborn, sort of say, no, I want it like this. Um, I, I, you know, if it can't be like this, then I can't have it. Then you're closing yourself off from that joy and happiness and that love and stuff like that, which is probably not a good thing. Um, and sometimes you just need to accept that that's the river and that's how the river goes. Uh, and going with the flow can actually be very beneficial to you. And just standing sure in your position. You know, the king of wands really do, you know, um, uh, with the king of cups and also the queen of uh, pentacles. This whole sort of section here, your base is really solid. Um, and I think that's going to make you realise that um, sometimes we can be a little bit um, a little bit flippant with the universe. <laughs> and it's good to realise that and it's good to say sorry and it's good to say sorry to yourself as well. And I think that's a bit of that going on there. So there's loads going on on this channel as well. We've got your yearly readings coming out, the collective reading coming out on Sunday and uh, the individual signs coming out on Monday. Um, there's new types of reading coming out this Christmas. It's going to blow your mind. I hope it's going to blow your mind. I know it's blowing my mind. Really loving it. Bringing in the energy work that I do uh, on a daily basis into, into these readings. Uh, it's going to be amazing. So watch this space in a way. Uh, in the meantime, Pisces, thank you very much for your support. Uh, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.